Good morning guys! It's Friday, it's sunny, and it's a good day today. Except that when I woke up, my hair looked like this. And this for me is a mess. I worked out, um, I did like a circuit training yesterday, and it was such a rough train, like an hour or so. Um, and I don't shower my hair every day, so um, this is what I woke up like. So I thought I would take this opportunity to show you guys how I style my bangs when I wake up and I don't like them. Because usually I don't style them when I wake up. Usually I can just like walk out the door. But since you guys have asked, I thought I would do a video about it. Combined with a video about what's in my bag. Because me and my boyfriend recorded one of those and then um, the videos disappeared. So I'll have to do it again. So let's go. Um, so first things first, I comb through my hair with the water. So I put water on a comb and I just brush the bangs. The thing is, I'm not in um, I'm not in the bathroom right now because I'm gonna get good light for you guys. So I'm just gonna go and get um, a glass of water and dip it in. So wait. So I put my like the biggest section of my hair up just in a bun, and then I take my bangs down, the bangs that I don't like, that I just want to like fix a little. Um, I comb it down. I can't see anything now. It's just like the biggest problem. So the thing I don't like is that it just kind of goes like this today. So I just comb it down and then I get, I'm usually under a sink, but I'm just going to do it like this today. So then I just get this wet. It looks so cute right now. It's going great. Um, just... What is this long piece of hair, guys? Seriously, this is not supposed to be there. Um, yeah, so I usually just get this wet. I think I said this about five times now. Have I, Ras? Yeah, I think so. I think so too. Okay, well, this is now wet. <laughs> um, so I just get a um, hair dryer. And okay, so before I put this on, because it makes a lot of noise, <laughs> um, I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna blow dry it down so it doesn't part one way or the other. That's a song. And this is like a new air dryer, hair dryer. So it still has tags on it. Okay guys. Okay, so let's do this. Anyway, it just goes literally, it just goes like straight down. So then I take a new comb and I just kind of go through it. And then I just kind of part, part it. Um, and then I take my, this is like my go-to spray. I tell you guys about this all the time. It's the Redken 05 Windblown. And I just spray it in my hair for some volume. Um, I mean, I can spray a little bit in my bangs, but not too much. Because when you spray it in your bangs, it gets... I don't like it. I don't like what it does, too. So, that's like literally all that I do to my bangs. And then it just kind of 
um, goes down like this. Yeah. Does it look good, Raps? Yeah. Does it look like it always does? Yeah. So this is just how I style my bangs. You comb through it with water, you air dry it, no you don't air dry it, you blow dry it down, and then voila! And then you could always get like a cream or something if you want it to like go more together, if you don't want to, if you don't want it to like be loose. So yeah. Let's go and see what's in my bag. So guys, here I am again. Um, I got um, a lot of questions if I could do a video about what's in my bag. So I thought I would do one. I don't know if it's... I don't have too much in my bag, but I'll show you what I do have. Um, and I just wanted to let you guys know that yesterday the plan was to film um, like a follow me around video. But then I started feeling pretty bad, so we had to end it. Cause, yeah, I just started feeling really sick and really tired, so... Like, the morning was fun, but, like, lunch afternoon, it just got downhill. Like, the only thing I could do was, like, be at home and be boring, because I wasn't feeling good. So, yeah, anyways, today I'm feeling better. Um, so, what's in my bag? Um, this is, by the way, my vintage Chanel that I bought this summer. I get a lot of questions about it, and it's vintage, so I don't even know what the model is called. I just know that I love it. So, what's in it? Let's see. Um... Well, first of all, I have a plastic bag from when I walk with Maverick and he needs to go to the bathroom. That's boring. Um, and then I have, I always carry around my glasses, um, just because you never know if you need to read something. <laughs> and I need them to read. Well, I can see without them, but it just helps me not get a headache. I always carry around my calendar. So I know when I have important stuff, meetings, collaborations, dates and stuff. This is really nice. It's like soft um, and just like baby purple, really cute. This is my lifesaver. I'm like one of those people, I feel like I need to like write stuff down on paper. It just helps me remember, like memorize it better than if I write on computer. And then I always, okay. So I have three things that I always need to have in my bag. Number one, a comb because I always need to fix my bangs. If it's windy outside, you know, you never know if like the wind comes. Number two, my wallet. This is my pretty little Gucci wallet with flowers on it. That's the good thing about my mom. If she gets tired of something, she gives it to me. So yeah, this is good. Business card, my other credit card, receipts, all the important stuff. And then last but not least, my lipstick. So I have two that I always carry around. Um, it's the red one and it's the nude one. So the nude one is from Bobbi Brown. It's Lux Lip Color Shade 4 Mod. It's the one that I always wear, um, the one that you guys are always wondering about. So that's this one. The other one is a red one from Milani that's called a 68 Matte Iconic. Um, I'm not like 100% happy with this lipstick to be honest with you guys because um, I just feel it's too creamy for it to be red. I'm gonna try, I wore in my other video, I wore a matte like pink reddish lipstick and that was really good because so it's like a lip gloss that you put on and then it turns in like it turns matte and it just like it does not go away like stays on forever like you, you don't leave a mark when you drink like a water you don't like it doesn't rub off on your teeth so it's really good so I'm gonna try to find that brand in red and that that brand was called Girl Power so yeah skip pasta yeah, so yeah, that's the two lipsticks that I always wear. Um, it's like my go-to. I need those to survive. Other than that, I have my keys. I have headphones. I have chewing gum because you never know when you need to smell good. Sorry. Um, and then I have hand sanitizer because um, the world is dirty. And before you eat and drink stuff, you need to put this on your hands. I have headache tablets, whatever you call it. And then I have a hair tie, because it's like you need a hair tie. Because I have really thick hair, I tend to get really warm in the neck, because that's like where all the hair is. So I need a hair tie sometimes, like when I need to be able to breathe a little more. 
And then I have um, a face moisturizer with me. If Because now it gets colder in Sweden. So sometimes when you're outside and it's really cold, you feel like your face gets dry. So I just like moisturize my face. It's a Swedish brand called Estelle & Tilt Stockholm. It's a biohydrate total moisturizer day lotion. Other than that, the only thing I have in my bag is my precious cell phone. The case is from Zero Gravity. A lot of you guys ask about it. And I also have this little like travel angel with me. I got it from my friend before me and Rasmus went on a trip to Caribbean like one and a half year ago. So I just have it with me at all times when I travel and like when I walk around. So that's all that I have in my bag. Um, since I don't use makeup, I don't really have like makeup stuff, touch up stuff in my bag. Um, the main things that I told you guys is my comb, my lipstick, my cell phone and my wallet. That's like all I need to get through a day. I never carry my big camera. It's so heavy. Um, so when me and Rasmus like go out and shoot and stuff, he always has it. He has like a little backpack um, like designed to have camera gear in it. Um, the only camera that I do carry is the camera we're filming on right now. It's a Sony, a small one. It's like this small. So it's really easy to just like take with me at all times. So that's all that I have in my bag and that's how I style my bangs. I hope you like this like put together clip. I really wanted to get something out and I haven't been feeling like 100% this week, especially yesterday when the plan was to do the video. Like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday was pouring down rain and then yesterday when it was finally good weather, we're like, yes, it's going to be so much fun to do like a follow me around video. Um, but then I started feeling really bad, so the plan got ruined, and the other video, like I told you guys about the what's in my bag video that we did, got destroyed because my computer, I had to restore the whole computer because it wasn't working properly. So here I am. Um, at least I got to show you guys how I style my bangs and what's in my bag. Um, the plan is maybe I can do like a follow me around video tomorrow. I know you guys really like that. Um, and like I said, I'm super stoked to start with more videos. I absolutely love it. I think it's such a fun way for me to get to know you guys a little better. Um, and I really like when you like put down your ideas on what you want to see in the comment section. So please keep on doing that. Um, now me and Rasmus, we're going to get to work. We're going to go out and shoot outfits for you guys. Um, we're going to LA on Tuesday, so I need to start preparing for that. That's like me in a nutshell, always last minute with stuff. So we need to start packing for that, and then, uh, yeah, enjoy the nice weather. My sister is home from Stockholm, my dog is here, it's a good day. Okay guys, um, I love you all, thank you again for watching, super excited for more videos, so please comment below what you think.